Guys, Pippi is here, and I'm bringing you a post commentary of the Jackhammer kit. What this kit does is you basically you get what well, it's been no, okay. Well, you get your stone axe, which I've got a texture pack for, which looks like a choppy thing, and basically you mine a block, and every single block above it, directly in a vertical line above it, will disappear. Um, yeah, as you can see that tree at the top just appear. So, because I'm mining it top to bottom, the bits underneath don't just appear. And you can use it five times, the ability, and then you get a cooldown for 30 seconds. And you can use it another five times and so on. So, right here, I've gone to the very edge of the swamp. The game has started by now. And I have some stone pick. No, sorry, stone, uh, wood pick. Some stone swords. And I've got a lot of wood because of the jackhammer ability I used at the beginning. It's kind of a bit like lumberjack. Yeah, you can you get loads of wood. Then I basically go and hunt the first bit. So I go and find this cave over here, somewhere over here. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> well. Yeah, I hear this guy mining underneath me. So I'm like, okay, he's going to be here somewhere. And then I see him. So I go down here, and then I go over and slaughter him here. He's really not expecting that. I just own him, and then yeah, he dies. Then, whilst I'm sorting out my soup, this other guy I hear coming over the top, he jumps down right here, and he wants to team, but I am not teaming in this game. So, he's dead, and we'll see actually more of him later. Um, yeah, I do end up winning this game, as it says in the title. I'm not faking, and yeah. Okay, this is the... I'm going to talk about this style, really, for the moment now, whilst I'm mining. This is the style I'm going to do my most of my videos now that aren't live commentaries. I'm going to do them this sort of style. Um, tell me if you like this style. Like, tell me if you want me to do commentaries, like add some music, or just leave it as it is with the sound. Because I, I think like, this is a good idea because I've got a new editing software. And I kind of like it. It takes more time editing so they won't be out as regularly. But, you know, I'm not really going to. I'm not going to try and rush them now, I'm going to properly spend some time on them and everything. Maybe they will be out once or twice a week just because of the amount of time it takes editing. You, may, some of you may know it just, you might think it just takes like, you just pause it and then you like, you split it and then you just slow it down and stuff. It's not all just that, it's everything else. So, it's so many effects and everything as well, so yeah, this is a point really where yeah, I need to spend a bit of time editing. So I go over here, get the middle parts of the armor, which are the most important bits. Then I carry on out of this cave, and I go and find the nearest guy. Now, I do go and see a guy here somewhere, but because yeah, he's right over there. But because of um, I need some more wood because it's easier to chop wood with your jackhammer. I don't know why I didn't mind it there, but it's easier to chop it with that into my like stone or something if you yeah but I mostly just use it to get the stuff at the beginning but you'll see later what, what else I use it for so I killed that guy that was an ergo but he wasn't expecting it then over right here I see this viper that only has a chest plate so I go over to him I get a good combo on him I quick drop and over here he starts running away so I take the chance to resoup as well then start chasing him jump into that pile of stuff he turns around, I get another good combo on him there, and right there he dies. So, yeah, that's another death. So, already I'm doing really well because I've got most of my armor I need. I'm just getting a bit of experience there. And so, yeah, that's a good point in the game. So, I go over to this guy again, who happens to be just standing next to a thing, sorting out through a pile of loot that he just killed. So I go over and kill them, and I notice he had a speed potion, which was obviously from a scout, because you can't get him anywhere else. So you, I got an iron ingot as well, so I take advantage and put a speed potion into my hotbar, and I don't think I would have won this game if it wasn't for that speed potion. 
at least very very happy. This is the guy in the, in the cave that you may recognise from earlier that wanted a team. Well, however, he's not teaming with me today because he respawned. He was a pro, so I was like, "Yeah, all pros gone." So, yeah, that's good. Pros usually are really good players, but not always. Okay, this is the part. This is one of the main parts of the game here. This is where I need the heat potion. This guy is a phantom, and I started off by getting a good combo on him, and like refilling and quick dropping. However, he has a downhill advantage, which means he can hit me from where I can't hit him, and all that sort of stuff. So I think I almost die here, but I just about get people souping, and it's really chaotic. And I just quickly souping. He's running here. Now I take advantage of that bit, get a bit more soup, and he gets me in a good combo. I can't get him behind the vine, so I come out. And luckily for me, he runs. So I splash that potion down, get some more um, soup and chase after him. I have actually sped this up on top of the speed potion because of um because of the amount of time chasing it's just he's like hey in chat and then I get a couple of hits on him there but it's not really much and you jump down this cliff. It's not really that high, it just looks like it from the FOV that the speed potion puts you on. And right here he refills and stops and turns around. Starts battling me that I have speed so I can get a massive combo on him. There and yeah. I see this lava pond, I try and hit him into that, and you'll see, like, right here, the, this is what happens, right, basically. I refill, so we both got a load of soup, and then, because I've got speed, I force him near that pond of lava. I think my speed's run out at this point, actually, but yeah. I force him whilst he's refilling, and he lands right there. So close, and I was one heart at that point, and then I just refilled. He runs away, because he's so weak, and that's good, really, because I can sprint. So I took this chance, and this is a thing that probably was another good point that I did. A good thing that I did here. I saw him run away, and I took the chance to get a lava bucket, because then he couldn't run away from me as much if he was on fire. So I'm not going to use this noobly. I'm gonna, I'm not going to dump it and then run or something. <laughs> I'm not a noob. Okay, I'm just going to try and catch him on fire and then fight him, because then he can't run as much as you see now, and he can't get good combos if you're slow. So that is a very good advantage. Have lava. So yeah, I start off fighting him, then as he comes towards me, I put the lava down, however, he didn't, so he started refilling. Then, you can see he can't run away as good, I can just combo him so much. Yeah, I think it still does equally the same thing, really, but, yeah, I prefer I think it steals the lava buckets overall. Yeah, I put another bit there, but miss, so I refill. I do have to use it in this situation just to block him out of my place where I said refill. Because that was a very close bit. And this is a funny bit. Because he's a phantom, he uses his phantom twice in this battle. And he flies away. Dump more lava on him. I think that might have glitched because it put out two. And then he flies away. I get a good hit on him first. He flies. It's the armor breaks. And he dies from the fire. Which is very funny. Because he had full iron. So I mended mine and got a like, helmet and everything. So yeah. That's why this is So. You might have noticed during that battle, feast was announced, so I head towards that. Yeah. Um, also, I want to quickly talk about um, subscribers and everything. I thank you so much for subscribing if you subscribed, and um, I hope you'll continue subscribing and tell other people about my channel because I basically, if I make a subscriber in game, all you have to do is message me, say I must sub. Um, your account is Mushroom Manic 1600, so that I know you're actually a sub. And then, like, can we team? And yeah, I'll team you. As long as I'm not like a 10 person team, that's just a bit out of control, but as long as you're not like betraying anything, I'll let you team. Or as long as I haven't had a bad experience with you betraying anything in the past, but yeah, that's what I'll do. So, yeah, I've teamed to a lot, lots of people. Lots of you might know that if you've met me in game before, you've teamed with me and everything. Maybe some of you have become subs from teaming. And right as I get this chest, a team of three appear. That is insane, because this one guy starts fighting me, two others. One enchants his sword there, and then one, he gets a diamond sword from a chest. Now, I don't have full armor, which is an advantage, but I quick drop a soup out, which I do very rarely, but, you know, that thing happens, so try and get his diamond sword here but I miss because I see other people are coming I just see them and yeah they have regen this time they must have found a regen pot 
and so I go for what I try to go for this guy. I think his name is Adam. I'm not sure. Yeah, Adam. I try and go for him as he looks like the weaker one. So he's my main target, though I can't always concentrate hits on him. I have to kind of do a bit both. Like when he's refilling, I'll get a good combo on him. But yeah, I just take this chance whilst they're both over there refilling to refill myself, and it was lucky I did. Even that five soup that I got in. Because over here I get a good combo on this guy, he dies, then I chuck out these things, and I look back, refill, and then eat my steak, so I sprint, and then yeah, as you can, I see his last soup there. This is my last chance to kill him. He has way more stuff than me. Got a good combo on him there, and then again, and finally I make his last jump for him, and he, right here, dies. And that is the team of three taken out. That is another big point in this game as well. So yeah, that you can see my like helmet broken and everything during the battle. It took so much damage and it was just insane. When you're playing that, when I was playing that, it was so hard. I was just clicking so loudly. It was clicking so fast. And it just, like from here, it looks quite easy, but it was insane when I was playing it. And I got a lot of strength pots in this actually. So yeah, that was a good thing. Um, and yeah, just remind you to comment on whether you like the strat this way of um filming or not and whether you think I should do like live I will do live commentaries but whether you think I should do commentaries like this post ones music or just leave it as it is with the sound of the sped up sound and everything. So yeah, um if you guys can please do that would be so helpful. So and I can please more of you by I will also do a range of them for the people that like lose the votes but still want their way so right here this is the jackhammer kit in use you can see that as it's not sped up this is the actual speed of it going no yeah it goes quite fast because it takes now this guy's lagging a bit so it does take a while and i think it was afk because he was a turtle but he did fall too far so yeah um yeah he fell there and yeah so this bit here oh, i'm sorry about that Yeah, and I get stuff, and then I just like, I like to use the ability out so that I don't actually like, next time I use it I only have one left and then I have to wait 30 seconds, I like to have it so that, I wait 30 seconds but then I have five left after it, so that's the way I like to use the jack camera kit. And right here I'm just hunting the last guys, uh, jumping through a snowy forest, and right here I see this other guy that is, has taken the pile of loot from those other guys I just killed. And so I splash a slowness on him so he can't escape very far. I get a combo on him there and hit him again. Now, comment if you think this is just tree boost. Um, his slowness potion is still on, or hacks, because he seems to like speed across that bit so fast. And he's mild, and he has slowness around your mind. I know tree boost is you can find out, but slowness as well. That is like, you can tell he has slowness here still, because the bubbles. But yeah, please comment on whether you think that's a hack or. I'm not going to report him just for the sake of it, but you know, maybe he wasn't. But, um, yeah, I don't know, he might have been, it's just a bit suspicious. I'm not saying that he did that, but I don't know. I'll leave it for now, I'm not going to make a big fuss about it, but yeah. Um, okay, so I go hunting these other guys. Hate Snow Forest, they're so annoying. And I get a bit of lag in them as well. So, same with Jungle, so if you ever meet me in a Snow Forest battling, Chances are you'll lose, but no, you'll win. <laughs> I'll lose. Okay, right. This guy's a team. It looks like they've done like a challenge where they have to try and kill the feast winner, or like they're too late or something. That guy's a monk, but yeah, he monks me, and then I have to quickly do this. There was only a smite box at Rotten Charmless, but I go for one of them at a time. I think they might have got a mini feast because they poisoned me. And they weren't the viper. If you rewind it, they splashed this potion on me. And I took out both of them right there by concentrating the hits on one at a time. And I know I could use a strength block, but I couldn't be off. Because YOLO. So, um, yeah, this point in the game, feeling pretty confident. You know, I don't want to be like really cocky at this point in the game. I've died from that sort of stuff before being really cocky and everything. But, yeah, so I, I feel pretty more relaxed now. I see this guy. And this is a move I shouldn't have made, though it didn't really matter too much, I did recover from it. 
I just splashed this just for the sake of it, but he did almost kill me there actually. So I shouldn't really have done that, but you know, yellow. But as I said there. But yeah, so right here I just decided to stack out and it's like good luck I'm recording. Now yeah, it just says I don't know why it always says that, but um Right. I knew this guy was gonna be a was gonna trap because he's been talking the entire game and stuff. And he's like, yeah, I'll win, good luck, you'll lose and everything. So I knew he was going to set up a trap or something up. So, I was not feeling confident about this at all, actually, at this point. I was really nervous, and I didn't want, like, just to fall through the ground at any time. And I went to get some more soup, just in case I needed it. Or some more mushrooms for some more soup. And then, yeah, I just got a few, and then started going through them again. And just got a few more brown, because I was short on them. Yeah, and then where is it? It's like well, he's really far away, so <coughs> sorry. <coughs> um, yeah, he's on a desert, which really like, made me worried because I've, if you watch my um digger troll on April Fools, I'm uploading it, but I have uploaded it. That was a very easy trap on desert. Okay, so right here he's got torches, lint nesting. And I know he's in here because I saw him. And this is a typical Kaya trap that you would see. So I kept the water bucket on there just in case I fell through. But yeah, I was just crouching and shifting, and the floor fell through because he was Kaya. So in the end, I decided to go up above ground as he did. And this is the point where I start chasing him right here. So yeah, I know the sheep do get a bit annoying, going bam and stuff, really sped up and like bam bam. Yeah, it's just a bit annoying, but does it really matter? Because I don't think so. Yeah. And I've been commentating for about 16 minutes now, which is very, very, very long for me. Consider only, consider only you should commentate on four minute videos, but yeah, another lot of mirroring from the sheep there. And right here, yeah, I slow this down to supersonic slowness speed because it's like boof, boof. Because he dies right here. And that is the victory for me with a jackhammer kit. I do get 16 kills in this. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Remember to leave the rating in the description. Thanks so much for watching. And yeah, goodbye.